what's going on YouTube? Today we're going to be looking into sleep apnea. If you find yourself regularly tired throughout your day despite having a full night's sleep the night before, this may be a sign that you have sleep apnea. Sleep apnea is a sleeping disorder that is characterised by the repeated stopping and starting of breathing throughout your night's sleep. Some key signs that you may have sleep apnea may include snoring loudly as well as a feeling of tiredness during the day despite you having a full night's rest the previous night. It can also leave you feeling irritable and or moody and if not treated early can lead to more serious health conditions further down the line. It is also a condition that many people are unaware they even have so make sure to stay to the end of the video to learn about some of the ways you can avoid this condition. Now before we start don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to the channel for more health related content. With that being said, let's get into the video. The condition known as sleep apnea relates to a disorder which is categorised by irregular breathing as well as irregular snoring patterns during sleep. This can ultimately lead to a condition called apnea. This is where someone temporarily stops breathing completely during sleep. This reduction in an adequate amount of sleep can then cause exhaustion during the next day at a severe level. Sleep apnea is mainly split into three different categories. The first is obstructive sleep apnea, known as the most common type. This type of sleep apnea is characterised by excessive relaxation of your throat muscles. The second type of sleep apnea is called central sleep apnea. This type of sleep apnea is characterised by an absence of signals from the brain to the muscles that control your breathing. And lastly is the condition known as complex sleep apnea. This type of sleep apnea is when someone has some form of combination of both obstructive and central sleep apneas. This is said to be a lot more serious than the two previous conditions. What's particularly worrying about sleep apnea is that more often than not, people are not even aware that they have any of these sleeping disorders until they are informed by a partner or a family member. And so it can be quite daunting to find out that this is happening to you during your sleep if you are subsequently unaware of these episodes. There are even some studies that state that up to 80% of sufferers may actually still be actively undiagnosed. Number one, obstructive sleep apnea. Obstructive sleep apnea is most common amongst middle-aged adults, especially 55 to 60 years of age, and occurs when there is a blockage of the airways normally used for breathing. Factors that can lead to this particular type of sleep apnea include family history, aging, a narrowed airway, obesity, nasal congestion, smoking, as well as alcohol. Number two, central sleep apnea. Central sleep apnea, as it states, relates to the center of your body, typically the central nervous system, and is caused when your brain fails to send the correct signals that control your breathing. This is usually said to last for around 10 to 30 seconds, and is said to be able to continue to persist briefly for a matter of seconds upon an individual waking up. This can often trigger an individual to panic and then go on to cause even further disruption to an individual's sleep cycle. This particular type of sleep apnea is commonly caused by heart disorders, stroke, aging and use of narcotics and or pain medicine. Number three, complex sleep apnea. Complex sleep apnea is said to be a more serious condition than either obstructive or central sleep apnea and is characterized by the persistence or emergence of further breathing complications after a CPAP machine has cleared all of the obstructive possibilities and the patient's airways are clear. These further complications are either central apneas or hypopneas. Hypopneas are defined as an event that lasts for a minimum of 10 seconds where an individual experiences shallow breathing and their airflow is reduced by 30% or more whilst simultaneously having a reduction of blood oxygen levels by at least 3-4%. to Some studies have stated that up to 15% of individuals diagnosed with sleep apnea 
are later found to have complex sleep apnea. And it is also said that the longer this event remains, the more severe the effects can be for an individual. Causes The most common causes for the development of sleep apnea are obesity, excessive use of alcohol, smoking, and an individual who is either approaching or beyond middle age. It is also said that this condition is a lot more common in males than females. If you find that you fit into one or even a combination of the previous categories, it might be something you may need to look into, especially if you happen to notice yourself or are either informed by a family member or significant other about any of the previous symptoms mentioned. Sleep apnea is considered a serious condition. However, it is also a condition that many of us still remain uninformed of. Symptoms. Sleep apnea's most common symptoms are extreme sleep deprivation. This can lead to stress-induced insomnia as well as nocturia. Nocturia is the constant need to urinate throughout the nighttime. Also, a common characteristic of apneic episodes are an individual's loud snoring. This could have the potential to affect the ability of a good night's sleep for other people who are linked in some way or another to the said individual as well. Some other symptoms of sleep apnea are choking noises and mood swings. During daytime, the after effects of a previous night's lack of rest can lead to difficulty throughout the day with maintaining a high level of concentration, as well as fatigue and extreme headaches. These headaches are found to be most common during the morning and are said to be caused by a lack of oxygen to an individual's brain caused by difficulty breathing. This lack of oxygen then causes your blood vessels to expand. This is your body's natural response as it attempts to compensate for the lack of oxygen. This expansion is said to be what leads to vascular headaches. Although sleep apnea by itself is rarely fatal, it can lead to other more serious health conditions. For example, the reduced oxygen levels can cause anginal chest pain and can disrupt heart cells, which can lead to an arrhythmia, also known as an irregular heartbeat. Other more serious conditions that stem from sleep apnea are respiratory failure, heart failure, diabetes and certain cancers. For people who are unaware that they have this condition, it can be particularly important to be aware of the symptoms as it can also lead to depression, accidents at work and accidents while driving. Treatment Treatment for sleep apnea requires diagnosis by studying your sleep and monitoring the frequency of your apneic episodes. The more episodes you have, the more severe your condition is said to be. Patients will typically be monitored overnight using a machine called a polysomnogram. This will monitor brain activity, vital sign, oxygen levels and your movement as well as snoring. Where necessary, treatment will involve attempting to reverse risk factors with correction. This will typically mean advising on lifestyle changes for the patient, i.e. avoidance of sleeping pills, alcohol, smoking, diet and weight loss, plus any other sedatives or medications that patients may have been using up to this point. This is considered necessary because some, if not all of these lifestyle choices, can not only be the cause of sleep apnea, but can also increase the relaxation of an individual's throat muscles and increase the possibility of airways being blocked during sleep thus not being able to obtain an accurate reading of your body's natural sleep condition. Also, where necessary, patients are encouraged to sleep on their sides instead of their backs, as it promotes better airflow to the patient's lungs. Patients who are found to have sleep apnea will typically have a reduction in oxygen saturation throughout the night. Some good news is that in most cases, there are many effective treatments for sleep apnea from simple advice to minor breathing aids that can help prevent the restriction of airflow while you sleep. In the most severe cases, patients can also have access to a CPAP machine, which is short for a continuous positive airway pressure machine. This is a machine that promotes regular breathing by forcing your airways open with a steady stream of pressurized air through a plastic face mask 
that covers your mouth and nose while you sleep. You can also use items such as oral mouthpieces which can help to keep airways open and in some cases patients even have surgery to realign your jaw or to remove excess skin tissue that may be blocking your airways in one way or another. These surgical procedures are said to not only be used very rarely but also only used when absolutely necessary. This is because they are often known to be complicated procedures due to the unavoidable surgical swelling that these procedures cause, as well as the anesthesia that is needed, possibly making conditions temporarily worse for the patient's breathing before the patient goes on to show any signs of improvement. Myofunctional therapy and oropharyngeal exercises. Myofunctional therapy is a physical therapy for the muscles that are around and also help to support your tongue as well as the muscles in your neck, head and jaw. It has four main goals that aim to improve your orofacial development. Orofacial means of or relating to the mouth and face. Number one, improved nasal breathing. This particular habit is said to generally improve the effect of breathing both day and night. Number two, improved tongue posture. This involves tongue exercises as well as becoming accustomed to positioning your tongue in a way that helps keep airways open. This is said to be best kept against the roof of your mouth with a light suction. Number three, sealing of lips. Getting into the habit of sealing your lips will help you to always breathe through your nose. Number four, correct swallowing pattern. As with tongue posture, when you swallow, your tongue should be kept up against the roof of the mouth with a light suction as opposed to sideways or forwards. Myofunctional therapy can reduce the effects of sleep apnea in some cases by up to 50% and up to 62% in children. It is said to be of a holistic nature, which means it looks at an individual's personal lifestyle and tries to seek remedies that are unique to that particular individual. Ideally, throat exercises to strengthen throat muscles Understanding an individual's breathing and also correcting an individual's posture by correcting the positioning of their tongue. This helps prevent an individual's breathing being blocked while sleeping. In many cases, it looks at the habits of an individual and where necessary, tries to implement new habits that most people take for granted. And once accustomed to these new habits, they can greatly help with making sure an individual's airways are kept clear while they sleep. Oropharyngeal exercises are a more simple and immediate form of tongue exercises that anyone can do at home which can also help to strengthen your throat muscles and aid breathing during sleep. Did you know that opposed to breathing through your mouth, your nose has a built-in system that filters the air you breathe and also humidifies your air as well as heating or cooling the air depending on the temperature outside so that the air is regulated before reaching your lungs. This then helps the oxygen that is distributed through your bloodstream have an optimal effect in comparison to breathing through your mouth. This can also reduce the amount of foreign particles entering your body. On top of this, breathing through your mouth can also increase symptoms for people who suffer from asthma. Teaching young children these myofunctional habits can help to prevent a lot of these problems from developing later on in life. Experts state that a lot of times these conditions are caused from a young age with early childhood habits and develop into worse conditions as we age. If you suspect you or someone close to you may be experiencing symptoms of sleep apnea, you or said person should consult a doctor as soon as possible. This can help prevent more serious complications from developing later on, such as type 2 diabetes, hypertension, high blood pressure, myocardial infarction, heart failure, strokes, as well as infertility. Try to stay healthy YouTube and I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to the channel for more health related content.